Welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas. In today's video, we're changing the thermostat in the 1998 Infinity QX4. It's also the exact same for the Nissan Pathfinder. So stay tuned. First thing we're going to do is take the negative cable off. So go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket, loosen it up, and set it off to the side. Now we're going to move over to the air box. There's four push tabs that you got to open up, two at the bottom here, also two at the top. Just flip it down, go over to the next one, you push that one down as well. You got one more that you'll push down, and the fourth one you'll actually flip up, just like that. Once you're done there, go ahead and remove this vent line. After you put the vent line to the side, we're going to go ahead and take the MAF sensor off. You just push in on the little tab and pull out, just like that. Now we're going to loosen up the screw style clamp. You can use a flathead screwdriver or you can use an 8 millimeter socket to loosen it up. Now we're going to go ahead and remove these two rubber hoses off the intake hose. Get you a pair of ice grips. Move over to the second one here. Go ahead and take that off. Use a screwdriver and pry it against it if you can't get the second one off. After that, take your flathead screwdriver and just pry it in there just like that and that'll open up the little plastic clip so you can remove the cable. Once you do that, set it out of the way. Grab this other one too and pop it out. Use your flathead screwdriver again. Pry up right there. Now this one's pretty nifty actually. You gotta lift up on the little tab and push in at the same time. First time I've seen these ones. All right, now we're picking up the whole assembly. Go ahead and set it off to the side. Remove your air filter. All right, we've got another screw stall clamp. Go ahead and grab your flathead screwdriver. Loosen it up. Then take that screwdriver or pick and work it around so you can get the hose off. Go ahead and remove this little hose. You can just do it by hand. Slide it off there. Now I'm showing you we're removing two 10 millimeter bolts. It's holding the radiator fan to the radiator. So go ahead and loosen these 10 millimeter bolts up. Take it out. Move over to the second one. Same thing. Go ahead and loosen it up and take it out. This way we can go ahead and remove the fan shroud. Now you're going to grab the shroud and you're going to go ahead and wrestle with it for about 10 minutes to get this bad boy out. Go ahead and set it to the side. Now this right here is a 14 millimeter and this one up here is a 12 millimeter. What you do is go ahead and loosen this, just one turn, and you go to the top bolt and you loosen that one up. This is the belt tensioner. So the more you loosen that up, it loosens the belt up and you can slide it right off. Come over here with your 12 millimeter socket. Go ahead and loosen this up. Cause we need some room right here so we can get the thermostat out. Use our first bolt right here as a 12 millimeter. Go ahead and take that one out. Now we're going to go ahead and take out the other bolt. So you're going to go in the inside of this hose. Remember we got a 12 millimeter socket. Go ahead and take that second bolt out. So now we only have one more holding in the thermostat. Go ahead and remove it right now. Pull the hose off, and we can see the thermostat. Go ahead and take the thermostat out. If it's stuck, you can go ahead and use the screwdriver and pry it out. After that, grab you a knife or a razor blade like this. And if you need this tool or any other tools, look in my description. I have links for everything I use. Now make sure you clean this real good. What it is is gasket maker because these thermostats don't actually use a gasket. Let's go ahead and clean this up real good because you want it to make a good, nice seal. All right, now we're going to put our own gasket maker on. You can use gray or black or any gasket maker, really. Go ahead and get our new thermostat. Put it in just like that. Connect it. Go ahead and put the three bolts back in. Once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and put the hose back on here. Go ahead and snug that down. 
Now we're going to go ahead and put the belt back on. Slide it over the fan. First thing you're going to do is put it over the bottom crank right there. After you do that, you put it up here on the AC and then right over the idler pulley. It's very easy. One and two. Now you're going to tighten it down till the belt gets tighter. You want to have a little bit of movement, about a half an inch. Now you go ahead and tighten this up when you're done. Now grab the fan shroud on the headlock and rest Lee's ass back into place. You'll get it down in there. Just work with it. Be patient. Karate chop it like that. Go ahead and get your two 10 millimeter screws. Now we're going to tighten them back up. Obviously, you don't need an impact to do it but it does help. All right, go ahead and put the hose back on. And we're going to tighten the screw clamp back down. Like I said, you can use a flathead screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket like I had. All right, we're putting these rubber hoses back on. Using our vice grips to lock it down. All right, sliding the intake hose back on. Once again, using our impact with the eight millimeter. Go ahead and put the rubber hose back on. With the little clamp, you can do it by hand. Go ahead and put your MAF sensor, lock it back into place. And now the air box, remember there's little four connectors that hold it down. Remember to grab your vent line and put that back on. So lock down the air box. Go ahead, put your negative cable back on. Tighten it down with the eight or 10 millimeter socket. And what I do is put some coolant in the radiator, leave the cap off, start your car and let it run for about 15 minutes. Once all the bubbles disappear, go ahead and put your cap back on. All right guys, that's it for Simplify Mechanic today. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, still give me a thumbs up. And you need to subscribe. Everybody's doing it. Like you're the only one that has it. So just go ahead and do it. Just join in. And like always, simplify till next time.